Oh, hello and welcome to my channel guys. I hope you all are doing great. So this video is going to be a little different from my other two videos. Like the kind of proper tools that we use. Like the store of concrete and PVC pipes and electrical wires. Something that I am not comfortable working with. So, um, I let's see how it goes. And uh, I made some of these have already used it. Or those who did not, let me tell them a little bit of more. So my home actually needs a floor lamp and I searched many websites but uh, however I found they had something like you know heavy design or everything was perfect and it was too costly for me to buy. So I thought of making a DIY floor lamp for my home and uh, let's see how it comes out. I am scared as well as excited. To start with the lampshade, you would need wooden skewers, two hoops, jute rope, pericol, glue gun, scissors, wire, bulb, and wire with bulb holder and plug. The plug I have taken out for now. Next, I am going to wind the jute rope around both of these hoops. It will look something like this. Now the skewers I am going to cut off in the desired length, taking this pointed edge off. Start gluing the skewers between the hoops, something like this. Now guys, make sure that when you are cutting the skewers, it's all exactly of the same length. I had thought of chipping the extra bit later, but uh, it's difficult and I could not put uh, much pressure, otherwise I would have ended up destroying the entire shade. The shade is now ready. I will then make its base to fit into this holder. It will look something like this after the entire thing is done. Now I am taking this wire. This will be twisted around the holder in this manner. And then around it, these small pieces of skewers would be attached. Now in order to give it a proper base, I have covered it with jute rope. Next start attaching the skewers onto this. Apply some glue and attach the lampshade to its base. Next for the stand, the materials required are PVC pipe, some cement, old plastic container and some paint. So next I am going to take this PVC rod here. Now this is around 140 centimeters and this bulb holder and attach it so which means this cord here is going to go down from here and it's going to empty it now i have made a small hole here for the wire to pass PVC pipe with the wire properly into the container and fill it with cement. Let it rest for around 8 to 12 hours. This is the consistency of the cement. I have used white cement here. You guys can use any other cement too. Now I have made sure that the cement is perfectly set in here. I have kept it overnight. Now I had actually thought of taking out the container but it looks, it looks fine like this. So I am going to just add jute rope all along this pipe. and it will give it a nice curvy pattern. Now to the pipe, I am gluing the jute rope. One thing here guys, because of the current lockdown situation at my location, I was unable to get a larger bulb holder. This one that I am using was lying spare at my home. A larger one would have been better. This one I will have to glue to the PVC pipe once the decoration is done. white paint 
to cover the jute rope. I wanted to give it a thick double layer coating but had this one tin left. So used it to give the lamp base a distressed look but I would suggest that you go for a thick two layer coat. It's ready and here goes the crown. Fix in the bulb and we are good to go. channel if you have not seen it. So see you soon guys. Bye.